We are eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Uh, this is the one that takes us home. I'm in Yuma, Arizona, headed to uh, Morrow, uh, Georgia again. It's become a quite common load for us, which is fine because uh, it's a drop and hook there, and then we can just we can get there as soon as we can and drop it and go home uh, and see the kids for a couple of days. I hope we can make it by Saturday where I can go to church on Sunday. It's a blessing to be able to go to a church. The inspection, U.S. border inspection is closed here in Arizona. Of course, Yuma has been overwhelmed with the uh, illegal aliens, the refugees. So... There's no sense in even opening the border patrol thing anymore. But uh, I uh, I get when I'm uh, not reading or not uh, working, I watch a lot of YouTube on a lot of Christian stuff, and a lot of stuff just pops up. And one of the things that popped up is how not to take the mark of the beast. And it's discouraging. I'm not saying these people are not Christian because I'm sure they are uh, believers. But they just demand that the church is going through the tribulation. They can't separate the Jew, the Gentile, and the church of God. And I, I, it's ignorance. And they definitely shouldn't be teaching if they believe that. Of course, there's a lot of people that a uh, lot well, smarter than I am that believe that way that we are going through the tribulation folks uh, one verse in the Bible that says we are not appointed unto wrath it is the time of Jacob's trouble if you have to worry about taking the mark of the beast you're in a lot of trouble because you did not accept the grace uh, of God and if you could not accept the free gift of the grace of God, how do you think you're going to endure to the end? I doubt very seriously you will. It's a time of judgment uh, of the Jews. I do not understand. And the <laughs> funny thing is, is the guy talks like one of those, you know, he says, the Lord says and the Lord is in his holy mountain and uh, blessed be the name of the Lord and uh, the way not to take the mark of the beast is to know what it is and you must know and uh, they think that well, a lot of people think that we're in the tribulation right now this is nothing folks two thirds of the world is going to die uh, even if you don't take the mark of the beast and you uh, endure until the end more than likely you will be killed um better slow down a little bit I'm in a 45 mile an hour <laughs> uh, you will be more than likely killed by all the plagues that's going on uh, and if it was not for him shortening the days which I'm not sure exactly what that means but uh, even the very elect uh, would be lost but that's the time when he's judging Israel uh, for rejecting Christ and at the end of that time, all of Israel as a unit, the nation of Israel, will be saved. Now, that doesn't happen now. Uh, it says in Matthew 24, they always go to Matthew 24, uh, Luke 21, and Mark 13. Those are uh, all passages of the Bible speaking expressly to the Jew. Now, you can use some, you can use all the Bible for doctrine and for teaching but it's not just because it's all uh, for you it's not all to you 
Now, if we have to endure to the end, him that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. We're in a lot of trouble, folks. Uh, how are you going to endure to the end? That's uh, works and faith, which uh, will come to be in the tribulation. If you take the mark of the beast in the tribulation, you will be lost, uh, even if you're a believer. Now, I've heard uh, MacArthur... Uh, who is supposed to be this great Christian said that he believes that he can take the mark of the beast. He has no understanding of the Bible, not even the simplest uh, divisions of the Bible. Anyone that cannot rightly divide the word of truth is in a lot of trouble when it comes to prophecy. You can't... Uh, if you do not know how to divide from the Jew from the Gentile and the church of God and know who uh, the book is talking to at the time. Jesus taught uh, dis uh, dispensations. He said, you have heard that it's okay to divorce your wife. I'm paraphrasing because I can't quote it uh, verbatim. But I say unto you that whosoever uh, lusts after a woman uh, you know, and he, over and over, and that's in uh, Matthew 5. You can look it up. I'm sorry, I can't quote it very well. My brain's going. I got the brain, <laughs> the brain pills I bought uh, that were supposed to be help your memory because I have problems uh, remembering things sometimes. And so I got that, and it's $100 for a three month uh, deal. And I took it three months, it didn't help me one bit. So I uh, canceled that. I think I bought a uh, snake oil. <laughs> anyway, so if you have to take the mark of the beast, if you're in that position where you have to take or reject the mark of the beast, uh, you're lost, friend. And uh, you better not only not take the mark of the beast, you're not going to be able to get food, you're not going to be able to have a job, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. Uh, you're going to... And there will be uh, Jews that survive that, and I'm sure Gentiles will too, a few. But uh, the best thing to do is, have you not heard of the dispensation of the grace of God? This is the church age. Best thing to do is receive his free gift. Jesus died on the cross uh, for your sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures uh, believe on that believe the gospel the good news this is wherein you are saved Paul said this is my gospel Paul said uh, Jesus de death burial and resurrection you believe in that you will be saved for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved call on the name of the Lord believing uh, in his death, burial, and resurrection, and you'll be saved. You will not have to worry about the mark of the beast. We are not looking for the Antichrist, friends. We are looking for the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of heaven and earth, hallelujah, to the Lamb. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, remember to read those Bibles. That's how you learn, folks. Just keep in that book. And I pray without ceasing. And uh, God bless each and every one of you.